Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cloud Management Community. Today, I want to talk to you about a lesser known feature in Windows 10 and 11 that makes your life a little bit easier and more secure, called dynamic locking. Just like a car that will lock if your car key is out of your car's range, Windows has the ability to lock your PC if your phone is out of your computer's Bluetooth range. But I do want to make a super big preface before we jump into this. This should be used as an extra layer of protection and security, not your default. Most phones nowadays have a 10 meter long Bluetooth range, which is around half a tennis court. However, in practice, I actually found that it was at least a tennis court before my phone would disconnect. So this is great if you think you forgot to lock your device before you went to lunch or you know you're having a conversation with a coworker that turned into a whole meeting or you want an extra layer of security like, oh no, did I forget to lock the front door? That kind of thing. But it shouldn't be used as your default. So disclaimer aside, let's jump into how to do this. The first thing you wanna do is connect your phone to your computer's Bluetooth, just like you would a headset or um, a mouse. And I do wanna just say that I found in practice it's a lot easier to connect your phone to your computer than your computer to your phone. Um, maybe if that helps you. And it should work with both Apple and Android devices as long as your PC is running Windows 10 or 11. Once you've done that, you wanna to go to the Start menu and then to Settings, Account, and then under sign in options, you want to look for dynamic locking. From there, you want to click the checkbox that says allow Windows to automatically lock your device when you're away. Now you're all set. Okay, so you've gone through the motions, you've set that all up, and you're standing at the end of your street looking crazy, trying to see if this dynamic lock actually works, only to come home and find your computer didn't lock. Let's troubleshoot that one. So the first thing that might be wrong is your computer could have actually had Bluetooth connections disabled by your company if you're on a corporate device. But if you've made it this far, that's probably not the case. The more popular reason that it wouldn't work is that dynamic lock is actually disabled by default. There is a group policy required to enable the dynamic lock or disable it, but they would have to re-disable it. Um, but just because it's disabled doesn't mean your company is against this. Since it's disabled by default, they just might not know it exists. Even though it's been around since 2017 at least, I rarely see dynamic locking implemented. In fact, at my company, there's only one other person that's using dynamic lock on a daily basis. So we'll go ahead and leave a link to the Microsoft documentation in the description box below so that you can send it to your system administrator, or if that's yourself, you can have easy access to it to see if maybe they are willing to actually enable this for you. You know, this is an awesome security feature. It's worth a shot to send it to them. And Mac users, we haven't forgotten you either. Unfortunately, Apple does not have dynamic logging or something of the proximity lock nature. Um, but there are a couple third party softwares that will do that for you. But I don't wanna sit here and recommend something that I personally haven't tried and vetted, especially because this could be a security risk. There are malicious apps out there. You, you know that, I know that. I just don't wanna recommend something that I personally don't know a lot about. But they do have hot corners that you may have heard of. And so hot corners are basically a shortcut. Each of your four corners has the ability to do that. Um, you know, you can do things like quickly do a sticky note, or I think now they call them quick notes for MacBooks and iPads. Um, you can access the notification center or lock your device, which is what I use them for. So once you enable that locking corner, all you have to do, shoot your mouse over to that corner and boom, your computer's locked. And I will leave a link in the description below for the Apple documentation as well, in case you're not familiar with hot corners, but it's super easy and it's more convenient than having to go to the Apple start menu and lock your device from there. So I do hope this was helpful and perhaps showed you something that is a cool feature that I think way more people should be using. Like I said, all of the documentation will be in the description box below. Um, and while you're down there, why don't you give us a like and subscribe? It really does help us out. And we look forward to seeing you for the next video.